how to fix page indexing issues in Google Search Console excluded by no index tag. In this video session, we're going to see, as in understand, what this problem is about and how to troubleshoot and fix it for your website. Do keep in mind, I'm creating updated tutorials covering important page indexing problems and I'm going to create a playlist on Ranker YouTube channel. So now let's go and see how we meant to approach fixing this problem. So under page indexing reports, excluded by no index tag, Search Console will show you some examples. Let's press on one. And then, although we've got filters here, you don't need to waste your time with that. You can visit the URL, sure, no problems, we'll do that in a minute. But to use Webmaster Tools, let's inspect the URL first. Here, this particular report is very useful for fixing page indexing problems. Why? Because here, it's telling us, you know what? This example URL we're inspecting, it's not in Google. Because Google cannot index it. And the report tells us when it was discovered, and so when the problem was discovered for this example URL and the crawl status that could be very important to take a look at why because here it says to us you know what crawling allowed that means can Google request the URL is in fetch it here it says yes if it isn't then we need to check Let's go and look at this. We need to check robots.txt file. This is uh, a file that controls crawl process for Google. But in our example URL, crawl allowed? Yes, that means robots.txt directive is not blocking Google. That means Google can access the site, so there is no problem. But that's important um, report for you to glimpse at when you want to fix excluded by no index tag issues. And then here, could Google fetch the web page? Yes, successfully fetched it. But if Google couldn't fetch it, then it could be related to the web server problem. And here, finally, the report tells us in the URL inspection, indexing allowed? No. No index detected in robots meta tag. User declared canonical, Google selected. Let's leave that aside because this particular insight is your remedy, so to speak because it just told you what to look at. And I'll show you what to look at. Actually, I'll show you what to look at before we come to referring pages. So now let's go and visit the example problem URL. So this URL, Google can fetch it, as in crawl it, without any issues. And yet, Let's press on Control U on our keyboard. And here, let's press on Control F on our keyboard again to find. And let's search for no index. And that's the problem. Basically, Google has read every single line. It read, 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 read. And then when it came here, it has seen no index meta tag. That's what that is. So, how do we then fix this? Now, most Rankia followers watching the other tutorials for page indexing problems are telling me, you know what? I have looked at the source code. I have searched for no index 
meta tag and I can't see it at that moment we can press on F12 on our keyboard refresh the page so this is another troubleshooting technique that I'm covering just in case you're not seeing this no index directive here because no index directive can be sent using different methods I won't confuse the subject meta because most ranker followers are not technically uh, knowledgeable to understand server technologies but when you request the web page you can look at network tab press on the problem URL look at the header response code and here you may see no index as well so that's the next step to check but typical meta tag looks like this if you are not seeing that next troubleshooting is network tab look press on the problem url and look at the headers and look at here to see if there is no index if if you can't see no index in the source code on the front end and if you can see no index in the header response code that means your, your way to check is your website theme because php programming language can send out header response codes by saying header response no index but the common problem is this particular one usually to do with the website setup in my example i can see i'm using a plugin but because i have modified it here allow search engines to show this content in search results i've selected no let's select yes to see what happens let me now refresh the page because i'm overriding that okay the, now this this is gonna be a little bit tricky but if if you're using plugins and so on that's where you want to check the reason I'm not seeing that is because I'm using a typical WordPress content management system and header.php file is a theme file and I'm controlling indexation for Google and that's the meta tag I would then need to remove because here I'm saying if it's a tag part of WordPress to Google I'm saying you know what don't index it so in my example for my setup this is actually okay there is nothing to fix because I'm telling Google specifically not to index this URL now but for yours experiencing excluded by no index tag you need to identify how in the world Google is seeing that no index directive. Now I have covered two, three different angles as to where to look for to identify this problem because it's persistent problem. Next, I'll show you a freely available tool for you to download. You can crawl up to 500 URLs for free. That means simply download the program to your local computer place your website address bar and let this um, search engine optimization tool to look at your website and here using this particular tool which may be of help and it's absolutely free to use up to 500 URLs and even if your website has more web pages this is still a useful tool to at least identify you know here you can see this tool tells me okay let's pause that 
Here, this particular URL is non-indexable. Why? Because there is this no index. So you may be able to use tools like this to triple check your own website. And as I've said, you don't have to pay any money for it unless you're an SEO agency. Then you may consider using SEO tools. Okay. But for most website owners, download the free tool, conduct audit on your website. You don't need to look at all these other things and get confused. What you want is you just want to look at indexability status. Okay, and if you end up seeing no index, what you can do is you can right click, open in the browser, and then press on Control U on your keyboard. Take a look to see if there is no index. If you can't see that, then obviously there is another issue, as in there is another part of your website that's sending no index. Let's press on F12 on our keyboard. Conduct network analysis. So we could have used this too, but I'm just showing you different approaches, right? So that particular tool is basically doing the same thing as this here. Looking at the header response codes. Now, Ranker YouTube channel comments does not allow links to be shared to personal websites but you may comment on rank your website if the insights i've shared thus far does not fix no index tag issues for your content management system this is a typical wordpress site you may have issues with shopify store you may be using blogger which does have different settings for controlling indexation and robots tags okay yeah let's before i close up let's imagine this scenario let's imagine the problem with no index was due to this robots.txt directive since most people get this wrong what you can do is actually simply delete that file completely from your website because if google can't crawl a website then it could be harder to fix no index problems too okay so that's how we approach troubleshooting this i understand that it can be confusing because of the fact that almost all websites are set up differently and different content management systems use meta tags differently okay but one way or another you inspect the url because this report will tell you exactly what to look at. Okay? So, before I close up, here we have test live URL option. Let me show you that as well. Basically, we're testing the problem URL. And test live URL is going to go ahead and look at the URL live in real time to give us a bit more insights. For troubleshooting the report tells us url is not available to google reason being page cannot be indexed why because google is seeing no index tag okay and here we've tested live basically gives us similar insights as to robots meta tag remember robots meta tag is this here it's not robots.txt file because that's a meta tag and that's what the problem is up here and here we can press on google index whatever you do do not press on request indexing you can do it but google is still not going to index that url because it's seeing no index directive that must be removed one way or another first step identify how google is seeing this and next step is simply remove that for the url you want google to index if it is a url you do not want google to index then obviously that's okay there's no problem in my example typical wordpress site tag sections are placeholder urls 
there is nothing unique here really so i'm not um, letting google to index that part but surely if you're watching this video then you want this problem gone and this is how you approach fixing it i hope and wish this video session which is updated video session has been informative and if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and perhaps even share it with other web site owners or web developers because it requires time and effort and energy to create these how-to tutorials.